In this video, we're going to provide you information related to the guidelines for use for the bridge analyzer to gas exhaust gas analyzer. All of our analyzers come in a hard case. I've removed some of the elements from the case, including various accessories for powering the analyzer and also the tailpipe probe connected with tubing to the analyzer. So to use the, use the analyzer, you connect the probe and the tubing. And then in this case, this is a two gas analyzer which does not have uh, battery power. You can get this two gas analyzer with a battery pack that is rechargeable. So you plug in the 12 volt supply and initially the analyzer comes up with dashes on the carbon monoxide and then the fuel of interest for the hydrocarbon. In this case, it's been identified for propane. I press the zero button until I see the display flashing between blank and dashes, and also the pump begins to run. At this point, the analyzer is zeroing through a port on the side of the analyzer. It's not going through the probe, and it's testing ambient air to zero the optics in the system. Once the zeroing is complete, the analyzer will draw gas from the probe. In this case, I'm drawing air, so I'm reading zeros for hydrocarbon and also carbon monoxide, but I am drawing through this probe. If we were to put this into a tailpipe, of a vehicle, <clears throat> we would be getting values for carbon monoxide and hydrocarbon. The system will continue to operate on a continuous basis to measure whatever tailpipe emissions you require. Occasionally, when this screen blinks between numbers and dashes, that indicates that the analyzer is looking to be zeroed again. And that will occur after five minutes of being turned on and then every 60 minutes thereafter. To activate a zero you would just press the zero button again and it'll do the zero routine and then when it's finished it'll go back to the probe tailpipe testing. Should be nearly complete and when it's done it'll return back to testing from the tailpipe probe the numbers return back to normal readings and you can continue testing. And that concludes our guidelines for use of the bridge analyzer 2 gas exhaust gas system.